양액 제조합니다. 셀수 촉촉함 음. 보소 플레이 까누이 아. 니무리 아. Hi guys, welcome back to BS Day Look. So today I wanted to do this Korean Beauty Secrets Exposed video for you guys. For anyone out there who's a big fan of Korean beauty, cosmetics, skincare, and things like that, I'm sure you would find this video helpful and interesting, at least I hope. Um, I did spend some time in Korea. I was teaching over there about four years ago and I have spent a fair amount of time uh, wandering the Korean beauty stores and hanging out with Korean friends, Korean co-workers. So I have learned a few things about Korean beauty secrets. And some secrets are better shared than kept. <laughs> Let's jump right in. <laughs> so this video, I'm going to concentrate on how to get that flawless porcelain skin that you always see on Korean dramas. All those actresses always have that nice dewy, wet skin look to them. So how do Koreans get that? Um, there are actually a lot of steps to maintaining really nice skin. And so let us start off with skincare. So Koreans take their skincare very seriously. One of the most important steps in their skincare routine is masks. So in Korea, you walk into any beauty store, you can find literally like 50 different masks in there. There's clarifying masks, um, hydrating masks, whitening masks, anti-aging, uh, sleeping masks. So all these different masks have a purpose. For example, clarifying will help pull out impurities and dirt from deep inside your pores. And then there's hydrating masks that put moisture back into your skin. There's whitening masks that Koreans are all over, which help with getting rid of dark spots, sunspots, or like acne marks. So when people think whitening, it's not really like bleaching your skin white kind of whitening. It's more like getting rid of dark spots and um, any acne scars that you have uh, left behind, those kinds of whitening products will tend to help it fade a little faster or help brighten your skin to make you look more like you're lighter, you're glowing, brightens up your whole complexion. And things like anti-aging masks are really big for people 25 and up. Koreans are really into taking care of their skin and they always say that you know, your skin starts aging as soon as you hit 25 and everything just goes downhill from there. But I don't like to look at it that way because that's, that's kind of sad. Um, but yes, you do have to really take care of your skin. And sleeping masks, of course, they are masks that you can put on right before bed and leave it on the entire night and then wash it off the next morning. Sleeping masks serve different purposes so you can get anything from like hydrating sleeping packs to whitening packs to anti-aging packs. I especially love sleeping hydrating masks for the winter time because they keep my skin very moisturized until the morning time. So facials are obviously great treats for your skin and we all know that some facials can cost quite a bit. Not everybody has a good $100 to splurge on for a facial. So a lot of Koreans like to do at-home facials. And when I went over to a Korean friend's house in Korea, she actually had this face steamer. And it's really cool because you plug it in, you turn it on, and it just shoots out steam. And you put your face over it and it helps open up your pores. So she would do that for about a minute or two before she goes um, to her clarifying mask or to wash her face every night. It helps open up all the pores and once you do that, it's really easy for the clarifying mask to get right deep into your pores and suck out any impurities and dirt. Usually you keep it on for a good 15-20 minutes, wait till it dries. Depending on the mask, some are wash off, some are peel off and you can rinse it off with cold water to help tighten up those pores back up so they're not like wide open and peeking its head out. And then you can go about doing your normal daily skincare routine. You can go about with your cleanser or you can go back in with a hydrating mask if you have a drier skin and then follow it up with your regular moisturizer. If you're one of those people who do not own a face steamer, I don't, uh, what you can do is run a soft face towel under 
hot water and then just apply it onto your face. Of course, not like boiling hot, but uh, warm water to more on the hotter side, then that would also do the same thing as a steamer. I know that there are also a lot of Korean massage oil products out there that you can get to help um, give yourself an at-home facial. So you apply the oil onto the palms and then you just, you know, massage your skin in circular motions. And what this massaging oil would do is, firstly, it'll help hydrate your skin. It will help it look more plump and firm. It just looks like you just came back from a good session of pampering. So Koreans are very good with protecting their skin. They make sure they put on sunscreen before they leave the house. Uh, most of their makeup products have SPF in them, especially their BB creams. And also, if they were to go out on a long day trip or like a just an outdoor activity type event, they would always have long sleeves on, I find. Um, I was on this field trip with some of my Korean co-workers and all those teachers had like long sleeve shirts on. It was like middle of summer, it was boiling hot outside. So it is one of the ways to keep their skin healthy and try not to tan as much, keep their skin as white as possible. Next up is makeup. Koreans love their BB creams and CC creams. They offer a ton of benefits for your skin uh, that a lot of foundations can't do. Foundations just tend to cover up your imperfections and they tend to look quite heavy, some of them. Uh, with BB creams, a lot of them look natural. They look fresh and dewy, and if you're after that Korean drama, porcelain skin, flawless dewy look, like your skin is always wet, then BB cream is definitely the way to go. Uh, what Koreans like to do is to mix a liquid highlighter with a very dewy BB cream. So highlighters such as Benefits High Beam and Max Strobe Cream are great examples of liquid highlighters that you can mix with your foundation or with your BB cream so that you can apply it straight to your skin mixed together and that will give you an all over dewy finish like your face is just very wet all the time. Even though this look looks so flawless and effortless, it is a very high maintenance kind of look because you do need to touch up quite often. Uh, in Korea, it is very common to see Korean girls touching up their makeup on the bus, on the subway, um, on the street, wherever they go. There seems to be a mirror everywhere in Korea. Everywhere you turn, there's a mirror. And everywhere you turn, there is a girl who has a compact out uh, in her hand and she's just touching up, which is very different from what you would see in North America. Not a lot of people are, are so comfortable with just staring at themselves in the mirror, I find. And that's one of the things that um, I remembered a lot of the foreigner teachers talked about were like, it's so different here because if you did that in Canada or the States, people would be like, why is that girl so vain? Like, she just stares at herself in the mirror all the time. No, but in Korea, that is a very normal and common thing to do. So Koreans love their natural makeup look. How they do makeup is very different from how Americans do their makeup. And if you guys would like, I can do a video on Korean makeup versus American makeup and apply it in different ways for you guys to see. Now onto cosmetic procedures. Laser clinics are everywhere in Korea and laser removal, sunspot removal are super popular in that country and it is super cheap as well. I heard that it's about $10 per mole and it's actually a really easy procedure and it's painless. So uh, many Korean girls and guys tend to like to go to those clinics if um, they have a mole popping up or they have a sunspot popping up, they can just get rid of it. So speaking of clinics, plastic surgery clinics are also found everywhere throughout Korea. It is very, very popular. And one interesting that I learned is that Korean parents actually gift their children when they're 18 um, plastic surgery as a graduation gift. So that's really different. And um, because Koreans don't see plastic surgery as um, surgery, if you know what I mean. They don't, it's not as much in the negative light as in America. So they see plastic surgery as cosmetic enhancement, as they would call it. Everyone's trying to look the best of who they are. So they would do anything to look 
even better and more beautiful than how they look now. Plastic surgery is one of the ways that they go about enhancing themselves. If you guys didn't know, when you apply for a job in Korea, you have to send in a picture of yourself along with your resume. And employers will take your picture along with your resume into consideration when they are looking for the right candidate for their position. Um, so yes, how you look, your appearance is very, very important. If you're a female especially, it is something that you need to get the job you want or the company you want to work for. It's just all culture, it's just very different. Um, there's no right or wrong. So I just want to wrap this up with an interesting fact. Koreans brush their teeth three times a day and most of the Koreans I meet have really nice teeth. Because they eat very garlic and onion heavy based dishes uh, and they always eat kimchi with every single meal, it's really important to brush their teeth after every meal. When I was working there in Korea, the very first week I was there, there was like a huge lineup of students in the student's bathroom. People just had a toothpaste and a toothbrush in hand. And then there's like the teacher's bathroom. Again, toothpaste, to toothbrush in hand. They're just waiting in line to get to the sink and brush their teeth right after lunch. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. And I actually picked up that habit while I was there. By the second week, I was also part of that lineup right after lunch. But I stopped doing that when I got back to Canada because I think people would just look at me weird if I started brushing my teeth in the public washroom. Um, so yes, back to two times a day. What else do I have for you guys? I think that's about it. Chisumbajani. 불은 지른 놈더러 끄라고 해야지. 회장님, 총리 씨 전화 연결됐습니다. 아, 네, 전화 바꿨습니다. 네, 일이 점점 재미있게 돼가네요. If there is another topic that you would like me to cover, or if you're interested in seeing the Korean makeup versus American makeup style video, then let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the essay look. I hope you are here to stay and check out my other videos down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I have many more videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.